In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to super clean your PC to go from this to this, and we're starting right now. What's up everyone, how are you today? In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to super clean your PC. After you watch this video, you're going to be able to make your PC go from this to this. Deep cleaning your PC is very easy to do and should only take you about 30 minutes to an hour to do. Deep cleaning benefits your computer in many ways because as you may know, computers are a magnet for dust and dust equals overheating. Dust will build up everywhere on your PC and will cause it to overheat because your components won't cool fast enough and your fans won't move enough air if your pc overheats it can start melting components or worse fry your computer and that gets very expensive deep cleaning gets rid of all that dust allowing everything to run at the proper temperatures making your pc run smoother and better especially if your pc is overclocked then you will definitely 100 percent need to be deep cleaning your pc on a regular basis because overclocked pcs already run hotter as it is and they'll be the first ones to burn out if not deep cleaned properly in order to deep clean your pc you're gonna need some basic supplies so you're gonna need some isopropyl alcohol window cleaner paper towels an air duster or a can of air an old toothbrush some thermal paste and a screwdriver after you gather up all this you'll be ready to start deep cleaning your pc so without further ado let's get into it so the first thing you want to do when you're deep cleaning your pc is you want to take all your dust shields like this one off and look how dirty that is that is so disgusting you can see where all my fans are you want to take your side panel off your glass panel your front panel and any other side panels every panel and dust shield you want to take off of your computer first so i'll come back and i'll see y'all when that's done all right guys now when you're done with all that you just want to set oh sorry that was my watch that just went off but once you guys are done with that, you want to set your panels to the side. So your glass panel and your front panel, you know, set it aside. Now a quick disclaimer, when you're taking off your front panel, be very careful because your front panel might have screws in it like this. Because mine had three screws in it holding it on. So not only does it clip on, but it's also got, like I said, three screws that are holding it on. So be very careful when taking your front panel off because if, if it... If it's screwed in, you could easily break it if you try forcing it off. Now, the main things you want to keep in front of you for right now is your dust shields. So, this is the dust shield from the top of my PC. And as you can see, this one is very disgusting and very dirty. There's a lot of dust and dirt and debris built up all on it. And this is the little one from my power supply this goes right under my power supply and keeps all the dust from getting into it and as you can see this one's not too bad but there still is a little bit of dust and debris as you can see but cleaning these are very easy to do so all you want to do is take your isopropyl alcohol and then take a piece of your paper towel or napkin or whatever you have and you want to just simply open up your isopropyl alcohol and just simply go like this and just get your napkin wet with your isopropyl alcohol and then set your alcohol to the side and then you just want to begin wiping your panel down like this now look at that guys look at that look how disgusting that is that is disgusting wow i've never seen anything like that it looks like you just wiped your butt that is so nasty and look as you can see it's already making a difference just by wiping it down right here so continue just wiping down your front panel or you're not your front panel sorry continue wiping down your dust shields and just getting all that dust out of there shake it off on the floor if you have to and just continue use the other side and just continue wiping your dust shield down now look at that that's from the other side now look at that look at the difference wow that is a beautiful difference i'm going to show you the before and afters right now 
and you can see it's a huge difference before and after. Wow, that worked out perfectly. Now let's get this one clean. Now that wasn't too bad. This one, I just gave a quick wipe. And as you can see, this one's very clean too. So let's continue on with deep cleaning our PC. Now, once you set your dust shields aside, we can continue on with deep cleaning our PC. Now, the next thing we're gonna deep clean and tackle is our graphics card or our GPU, however you wanna call it. Now, the first thing you wanna start by doing is taking out your graphics card. All right, I'll see y'all once I get my GPU out. All right guys, I'm back and now as you can see, I got my GPU out finally. All right guys, so we got our GPU out of our PC here and as you can see, our GPU is very dusty and very dirty and very disgusting. Now let's continue on with cleaning. So the next step we're gonna do is we're gonna take apart our GPU. So then you wanna begin by boom. Just like I said, taking apart your GPU, taking out your various screws, and be careful, of course, not to lose all your screws, not to lose any of your parts. All right, there we go guys, got it out. I just had to unscrew it at a weird angle. Sorry, I couldn't show it on camera, but I just had to really unscrew that in a weird angle. But look at that dust right there. That gets on the back of this bracket. Now, the easy way to clean your bracket, again, grab yourself, just like we did with the, what are they called, the dust shields? <laughs> I forgot what they were called for a second. Just grab your isopropyl alcohol, your napkin. Just get some on the napkin. Now when you put your isopropyl alcohol back, make sure you always screw your cap on tightly on your isopropyl alcohol because trust me, I know from experience, if you spill it and get it all over your components while you're cleaning them, then that's gonna be very bad. Now you can start by just boom simply. Just like how we did before, just wipe it off and look at that. Just by giving it a simple wipe, we'll just wipe it all off, make sure you get everywhere, everywhere can clean. Just wipe it all off. Now, well, there, as you can see, it becomes nice and clean, and a lot of that dust and dirt and debris gets out of there. But now that's nice and clean, so let's continue taking apart our GPU. And there's also some wires, but look how dirty and nasty and gross that is. You can see all the little bits of dust and dirt and debris that build up on it. Look at that. All right, guys, once you get your pair of pliers and you take this little plug out like this, when you're taking plugs out like these, you wanna make sure you grab onto this white part right here. And you, you want to make sure you do not grab this piece, this little beige piece that's attached to the motherboard. Because if you grab this part, you'll pull this part and you'll rip it right off. You want to make sure you grab the little plug. Like this. This plug right here. And when you're pulling your motherboard off, you want to be careful too. Because there could be some thermal pads like this that are also stuck down onto the motherboard. But as you can see here, look at a, look at the dirt and dust that builds up on your GPU. Look at all that. So we can start by taking our toothbrush and just simply brushing 
right here and just getting all that dust and all that dirt out of there. Now once you're done with all that, now you can grab one of your Q-tips. Like so, grab one of your Q-tips and grab some of your isopropyl alcohol and just dip the Q-tip inside and just get the tip of the Q-tip wet with some isopropyl alcohol. Like so, fake. And then go to your thermal pad or your thermal paste right here. And just use the isopropyl alcohol and just rub this old nasty thermal paste off. Now once you're done cleaning it, it should look like that nice and shiny with no thermal paste on it. Now once you're done brushing your motherboard down and cleaning all your thermal paste off, you can set it all aside with your GPU's motherboard, not your main motherboard, but your GPU's motherboard. And you can continue taking apart your GPU. Now as you can see, I got these screws here on the side that I'm Boom, now let's take the heat sink out. Oh, Lordy Jesus. Look at that. Wow. And look behind the fans. Wow. That is disgusting. Woo. Cleaning your GPU or your heat sink for your GPU. Take your toothbrush and begin just brushing up and down. Just brushing up and down. Now once you're done brushing your heat sink off, put it there and now it would be the perfect time for you to whip out your air duster or your can of air or, or whatever device you have. Sorry, I was getting mine off the charger. But this is my little air duster right here and it's also a vacuum. It's got an attachment, it's electric and rechargeable. So for now, I'm just going to attach the vacuum attachment onto it, and I'm going to vacuum up all this dust right here. Now I'm also going to use my air duster, and I'm also going to vacuum any excess dust on top of my GPU's heat sink that I couldn't get. Now I'm going to switch it around to the other attachment and blow all that other extra dust that I couldn't get out of here. Now that's nice and clean on our air duster went to work and cleaned all that. Now we can set our air duster to the side and set our heat sink to the side for our GPU and we can bring our now let's bring our fans back over here now let's grab our toothbrush yet again once again and scrub the back of these fan blades and scrub every single fan blade All right, now once we got the fan blades clean, you can get your air duster. So 
So grab another napkin. Again, get some isopropyl alcohol on it. And flip this back over. And we're gonna take this and we're gonna wipe down the entire back side of this. Make sure you wipe in every single little space, every nook, every cranny, wipe everything down. Wipe in every single space, wipe everything down. And look at that and continue wiping down every single part of your front cover of your GPU. Now, once you finish wiping it down, look at that. Look how much of a difference it makes. As you can see, there's a few spots that I missed. Now, it's not going to be perfect, but wow, I'll show you some before and after and it makes a huge difference. That is insane. All right, now let's begin putting our GPU back together. Boom, the perfect amount of thermal paste. All right, and that's it. Our GPU is now cleaned. And there you go, there's a before and after of it. And as you can see, cleaning it and taking it all apart made a huge difference. Now our GPU is nice and sparkly clean. And the most important thing is it has the right amount of thermal paste on it. All right guys, once you finish cleaning your GPU and you set it aside, bring your PC back out. So we can continue taking it apart and we continue we can continue deep cleaning this PC. So the next thing we're gonna do is start taking off everything that's attached to your motherboard. So your RAM cards, you wanna start taking off any wires that are attached to your motherboard. Take any brackets off, like this bracket I already disconnected it. But just look how dirty that is. And I'll clean this off camera because not everybody has one of these right angle mounts. Take your RAM cards out, disconnect both of them, take your RAM cards out because they're dusty, now let's get a napkin or a paper towel, I want you guys to see this, I want, I want you guys to see this right here, look at that, that's what I want you to see. Look at that, you see that? I'm gonna come over with just a, you see, that's what a dry napkin. Dry, nothing on it. Now I'm gonna set my PC back down. And I'm gonna show you the difference of what happens when you take just a little bit of isopropyl alcohol and do as I showed you before in the video when we were cleaning everything else. Just dab a little bit onto your rag or to your towel, whatever you are using. And now let's bring this back up. Now look at this. With a little bit of isopropyl alcohol. Look at that, wow. Now deep here in all these little corners, like in here and in the corner over here, 
all these little corners that you can't reach into you can take a toothbrush dip it in some isopropyl alcohol and get in there and get in those corners all right so now i'm gonna take my air duster again and i'm gonna go i'm gonna begin vacuuming up all in the nooks and the different crannies and all that and then i'm also gonna use the other side to blow all the dust out that's all inside my case and all inside my pc And grab some isopropyl alcohol and do the same thing you know dab a little bit of isopropyl alcohol onto your napkin and just begin wiping every square inch of your PC down every on the outside on the inside just start wiping everything down you could take your toothbrush you know get in any corners you couldn't reach with the toothbrush these fans are very disgusting and very dirty. Look at that. Whoa, Nelly. In order to clean your fans, when your fans are really dirty, now look at that. Ooh, wee, that is disgusting. You want to do just like we did on the GPU fans, same thing. Just take your toothbrush and brush all the fan blades off. Look at that, holy cow, you guys see that? Get every single part of the fan blades, part the inside of the fan. Look at that, guys, off of two fans, wow. Look at my toothbrush, that is disgusting, very disgusting. Now I'm gonna take my duster, I'm gonna reverse it the other way so I can use the blower part of it and I can blow all this dust out of here. And then once we're done with that, we're gonna set that aside and now our fans are done. And you can see the before and after Oh, the fans and you can see they're a lot cleaner now and they're looking a lot better now once we get our pc back up here we can again we can grab another napkin and we can get it wet with some isopropyl alcohol and we can begin wiping down the outside of our pc so all the outside vents like these top ones right here on my pc you can start wiping down look at that wow look at that and now once you're done wiping down your pc and you're satisfied to where you're at you can begin putting all your ram cards back in you can put your gpu back in you can begin connecting your motherboard back together you can start putting your pc back together because we are almost done guys we are almost done deep cleaning our pc and boom just like that Look how clean and beautiful our PC is. Look how clean the inside is. It looks so nice. Our GPU is nice and clean now. Remember, here's a before and here's an after. And as you can see, it's definitely cleaned up a lot. So when it comes to your glass panel, all you want to do and your side panel, your front panel, whatever, you just want to simply use some glass cleaner like this and just mist it onto your front panel. I got my side panel here, you know, just mist it on and then boom, wipe it off. 
but you know just take it and wipe everything down with it and then boom you're done now you just fully cleaned your pc look at that before and after Ooh, it looks so much better now look at that before and after wow it looks so much better inside this pc now it is so clean and so beautiful wow and you guys can see the before and after photos of it and the before and after pictures of it and the video of it and it just looks so much better and so much cleaner now so once you're done putting everything back together then that's it you're done super cleaning or deep cleaning your pc so please drop a like on this video and don't forget to subscribe for more awesome content like this thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in the next video peace out